District 3 is made up of the West Village, Chelsea, and the Clinton Hills Kitchen area. It also has a little bit of Murray Hill as well as some of Soho. It starts at Canal Street, it goes all the way up to the mid-50s and is on the west side of Manhattan. We are an incredible community with a history that prides itself in being free thinkers and independent doers. Hi, I'm Yetta Kurland. I'm running for city council here in the third district. I've lived here for over 16 years and I'm running because I believe we need a breath of fresh air in City Hall and I think we need change on a local level. On October 22nd, 2008, our voice was taken away when our elected officials, including our own representative here in the third district, voted to extend their own term limits against the will of the people. You know, Yetta started focusing on LGBT issues with her law firm, but she's really broadened that. She represents everybody. Democracy is a good thing because change is needed. You need new ideas and you need the energy to fight the battles that need to be fought. And I can think of no one who has that energy other than Yetta Curlin. The unfortunate reality is that many of our neighborhoods have seen really irresponsible development happen. The current administration is not standing up to these developers. The current administration is not saying what is really happening here and unfortunately is going along with these plans that will continue to harm our community. The mega sanitation development that the mayor and the speaker have proposed and are insisting on putting in the Hudson Square is another part of that whole problem. It would basically bring the sanitation needs of three different districts and squeeze it into this Hudson Square area. A lot of the uh, condominiums that have been developed in the neighborhood in the last sort of decade has meant the spreading thin of some of the resources, such as education. As someone who's been a visiting professor and has started a school, has been an adjunct professor here at New York University, education is very near and dear to my heart. Somebody handed me one of her flyers and it's this, you know, Yetta Curlin's Emergency Education Task Force. And it's like, okay, someone, someone is aware of this who's actually going to stand Try up and say, you know, let's, let's address this. As the next city council member, I will not allow another piece of development to happen without proper protections to ensure that our community is enriched and not displaced, to ensure that affordable housing, real affordable housing and permanent affordable housing is increased, not decreased, and that each of our children have a seat in school today and in 10 years. She just doesn't give up. She she will fight until companies realize that they cannot discriminate for any reason. Yetta has protected seniors against elder abuse, has fought against age discrimination and equality in the workplace. Having the option in this election of Yetta Curlin, you know, our community is lucky to have that option. Vote for Yetta Curlin on September 15th. That's yeah. Seneca's way of saying, go Yetta. In the 15th of September, salen y vota por Yetta Curlin. We need a checks and balances in our government. We need somebody who's in the legislative position of city council to be able to stand up to the executive branch and the mayor to make sure that the community's input is part of that. I come from a very strong public interest background. Being a civil rights attorney allowed me the opportunity to get outside of myself and to fight for others, to protect those who are unprotected, to support those in our community who need support, and to enrich and to empower those around me.